Well, I think a lot of teams look at that the workout process very seriously, and I think it could really help you if um, if you're a borderline guy and you do well in the workout, it could really elevate you. Um, you know, and if you don't do well, it, it could decline. Uh, so I think the workout is actually pretty important. I think a lot of people put a lot of stock into that. Um, so I think I think it's a big part of the process. Jimmer, how would you feel about the prospect of playing for the Utah Jazz? I mean, three <laughs> might be a little high, but they also have 12. That might be a little lower. How just just playing for the Jazz? They have two uh, lottery picks. Yeah, that would be something that would be very cool. Um, obviously, with a big following out there, uh, I feel comfortable there. I have a lot of friends, family around the area. Uh, good system, you know, a lot of pick and rolls, which I think I could do very well in. Like guy like Darren Williams, like I said, flourished in that type of system. Uh, I think I could do the same. Uh, so you never know with the draft but you know I'm just looking forward to being able to see where I go and if, if it's there I'd be very happy if you drop to as low as 12 but it was with the Jazz would that like okay I said or? like I said like I said before it doesn't matter to me how high I get drafted it's all about the system and where I can flourish the most um, at every level does it make that any easier when you get here where the doubts big for everybody uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've, I've dealt with it my whole life, like you said, and that's not a, it's not a big change for me. That's just something that comes with the territory. Um, so I'm just looking forward to going out there and hopefully proving people wrong again. You use that as motivation, obviously. Of course, yeah, that's what you have to do. You can't let it get to your head. Um, you can't even let, listen to the positive things, you know, and get too big-headed. You have to, to just drown it all out and just focus on yourself, focus on what you need to work on and how you need to get better. You said you did well today. Did you do? You went through all the skills. Yeah, stuff I went through and it. You you didn't pull out any of that. No, stuff. I went through everything, and uh, you know I have confidence in my ability to go out and play, and you know I just wanted to show them. I, I think a lot of people didn't. I mean, a lot of people knew about me. I don't know how many people actually saw me. Um, you know, just with our TV. Or, you know, we didn't have a lot of right, games on right, TV, right, and, but right. so unless they saw it on per, in person, they probably didn't see a whole lot. Sure. So I just wanted to show them that you know I'm a little more athletic than they think, can play defense, uh, shoot the ball well. Obviously, I think they know that. Uh, play offense, and, and, and I wanted to go through the workout. I wanted to ask you about your shooting. Is that something you always had when you're a kid in the driveway? You're making all the shots? Yeah, definitely. I think it came from my brother. He's seven years older than I was. I was always playing with him and his friends. Um, so I couldn't really take it to the basket when I was young. I was just shooting from the outside. That's what I had to do. And, uh, you know, I'd have to get my shot off quick because they would block it. They wouldn't care. They would just block it and, and go through. And uh, then I would get all mad. So I, I learned how to shoot from deep ranges from a young age.